Kia ora guys, good morning from Aotearoa. So here I am just drinking my coffee, minding my business and watching my Mirad. I really do like this guy. I think it's just a London thing. When you're from London, you know, you, you recognize your own and <laughs> it's just something about him. Really interesting insights into everything, but particularly with a focus on the royal family at the moment for obvious reasons. Now, you know, guys, he used this footage in his video to make a point about the fact that when you pass something on, you put, pass on the baton, you know, that, that metaphor, passing it on to the younger generation, not the older generation. That's the way it's supposed to be. He right? used this video to illustrate his point. And I always, this is, this is old footage, very old footage of the four, the fabulous four. They were, they were called that for a while, weren't they? You know, so William, Catherine, Meghan and Harry all together. And I loved this footage at the time because it felt like it really was a moment where we were looking to the future, you know, and with hope because of some of their interests, you know, particularly with a focus on mental health for Catherine and William and Harry and Meghan have their own interests and passions in terms of what they support, what charities they support. It just felt like a hopeful moment. And, you know, this is going back a long way because obviously, you know, Harry and Meghan left the family, left the firm. But looking at it now, 2024, fast forward to everything that's happened and everything that continues to, to be ongoing, the sagas in this family. I mean, it's inevitable when you have a family like this, they're an institution, there's so much heavy energy so much expectation right you, no one escapes the heaviness heavy is the head that wears the crown that's what the saying is that's saying with good reason right and it doesn't just mean the ones who are actually wearing the crown as the actual monarch it goes to all of them so this is no easy path that these four have been on right let's just say that straight off the bat but when I look again, and I'm obviously doing this rather rough and ready style, guys, I'm just freeze frame the video, but I'm just going to try and zoom in so you can have a look at what I'm seeing. Well, you know, I'm a psychoanalyst, guys. I'm a psychoanalytic psychotherapist. So although I'm not a body language specialist, this is my husband's great interest, actually, at the moment, body language, language analysis. So mine and Mark's interests in terms of the way they go beyond our professional lives, they're very overlapping. So in a way, although Mark, my beloved, is very interested in the analysis of the written word, and so obviously this has ramifications for criminal statements, judicial um, processes, the way things are written, the way things are worded, you know, the way people write as well, actually, is, an, is another, this is kind of part of it, can be part of it. These are really interesting things, but they're obviously very opposite for my profession as an analyst, where the words that my patients use are the words that we make use of. So this is one of the things that people don't realise in terms of my work, that we're not just plucking things out of thin air. We go with whatever our patients are presenting and we use that. It's obviously a lot more technical than that, but the words are very important. But in the same way that words give us insight into the individual, body language obviously does the same thing. And what really slapped me across the face here, it just happened to be where I froze the frame, paused the video, is the way in which Harry is protecting his beloved, using his body as a shield, so his arm is crossing her body in their handhold, but also he's very much in front of her and protecting her. That's a gesture of protection. He's not thinking about that. He's just doing that unconsciously because he loves her. And this is the thing that the people who hate these two so much because she's barely black so offended by the fact that a, a black person or a mixed race person had the audacity to join this family don't really recognize is that there's lots of evidence that their love is just true and if you have ever loved really you know not fake love you know that you have very little control about who you really fall madly in love with and not the holiday romance kind of love the kind of love that actually has a chance at going somewhere which i frankly feel that their there's their love has proven that 
it's not just a fly by night thing otherwise they would have divorced by now they've had two kids and they're still together very together right but i just love this moment and i just wanted to point this out because it's really interesting aside from you know for me as an analyst again it's so easy for me to detach from the personalities of these people the things that people have said they've done and oh this one's that and oh she's a narcissist and oh he this one hates the archie and i don't give a shit i don't care about that right so i care about things like this that interest me greatly that i find fascinating this is this is my this is my gift you know this is my work in understanding human behavior, in understanding human motivation and what makes us tick and what makes us beautiful. And I think this is a beautiful moment that I totally missed before. Maybe subconsciously I got it, but to me, it's very clear now. And I'm sorry it's fuzzy, guys, but I hope you can see a glimpse of what I can see. And but in contrast, of course, Catherine and William are standing apart but that's a conscious thing on their part and you know they are the next they were supposed to be the next ones in line so it's a different vibe right and it's to my mind Harry and Meghan have always had because they're not next up you know it's William who's supposed to be next up that's the whole pressure off you know of course they can hold hands and it's interesting that later on, of course, William and, and Kate did hold hands and stuff. So they, you know, Meghan and Harry undeniably are influencers, whether they even wanted to be or not. They do influence how things move. But I love this moment. And it's just a shame that we couldn't really build on this and move forward. And they couldn't manage to keep the family together and keep themselves together. It's hard, guys. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a, billion, if you're a billionaire family like these lot. Or if you're just an ordinary person living on a council estate, your family, oh my, they're the ones that get under your skin. They're the ones that you, you know, you might feel enraged to punch, you know, <laughs> according to some of the stories we've heard between the two brothers, right? It's not easy. None of this is easy. And it doesn't matter what race you are. It doesn't matter how much money you've got. These relationships are among the hardest because we have such strong karma with these people we didn't just come into the world with that brother with this sister with that mother by chance we're bound to these people spiritually and we have work to do that's why it's so hard excuse my washing machine in the background there <laughs> telling me to step up and finish my chores but yeah i just um just a moment in time really love this i think uh, really interesting i'll see you in the next one kia ora.